Good afternoon and welcome to the Swans Way Chester Stadium for today's match between Chester and the visitors from Kent, Ebbs Fleet United. It's all changed at the Diva after losing 18 from 28 league games and failing to win a single home game in 2017. John McCarthy's time with the Blues has come to an end, with the Blues board terminating his contract after defeat to struggler Solial Moores in midweek. Superb off the pitch, but ultimately results on the pitch, particularly here at the Swansway Chester Stadium, saw the demise of the man from the northeast. But moving forward, there have been numerous names linked with the job, but it's player caretaker manager Tom Shaw who is in temporary charge today, and he opts for a three-pronged attack, which includes Niall Bell, James Akintunde and Ross Hanna. Ebbs Fleet United come up north unbeaten in the league and on a 32-match unbeaten run, if you include last season's campaign, we saw them gain promotion through the playoffs. Sam Magri played here last season for Dover, but most Chester fans will probably recognise him off ITV as the defender lined up for Malta against England last weekend. And it's Ebbs Fleet United who get us underway here at the Swansea Chester Stadium. Lee Turnbull's corner, he drills it in towards the back post, it's towards Bell, it might fall here, it's Kingsley James onto his left foot, he needs to shoot, he tries to shoot, it's blocked. Here's McComb and it's laid off to Halls. Still not away, Joyce tries his luck from 25 yards. He goes right over the top, what a good early peppering of the goal there from the Blues. Tom Shaw said that they were going to go for the throat. And it seems that way early does. Sheeran's throw. Not away properly, might fall for Turnbull. Oh, he didn't quite connect with it as he would have wished. Rather hit it into the ground with the man who joined from Barrow in the summer. And he's still looking for his first goal for the club and he came mighty close there. Ross Hanna gets us back underway, the score nil-nil. Pal's throw. Shields dragged to the floor by James, nothing given. James ended up on the deck too, but that was because of challenge. Here's Jack Powell. Jack Powell continues to run and is allowed to shoot on his left foot. What a goal that is! Jack Powell shifted it onto his left foot, his weaker foot. And what a strike that was by the former Millwall man, who at Millwall they called the Peck and Perlo. And it's because he can do things like that. What a hit that was. 1-0 to Ebbsfleet United. Back in Sunday. Back to Turnbull. Out wide to Kingsley James, who finds himself on the left-hand side. It's not a bad cross in there towards Bell. Oh, and he managed to jump high and head it down into the ground. Unfortunately for Bell, the angle was a bit too tight. And Nathan Ashmore was left with a rather simple save just at his feet. Dawson will have the free kick. Not a great free kick from Lucas Dawson. Couldn't beat the uh, first man, but Marm will retrieve it. Dawson's behind him if he decides to use him. Here he is. Dawson helps it across to Turnbull. Just thinking about the shot was Turnbull. Hall's down the line for McComb of all players. And Hall. Hall gets a shot away. And oh, it's a brilliant effort. Still alive and then deflected into the side netting for a corner. I think a lot of supporters in the ground thought that save had gone out of play, but the attacking combination of the unexpected John McComb and Andy Halls almost came to fruition for a moment there. Dawson, deep cross in the midfield, a good header at the back post and turn behind. There's Niall Bell who leapt highest for Chester. This is a good bit of pressure, this from the Blues. Coom, Roturner. Dawson receives it in the middle and spreads the ball early, looking for Marn. It's a great pass. Marn gets there, he lays it off for Akintunde, who's got a chance here. It's Akintunde, who rolls it into the bottom corner. It's his second goal of the season, his first at the Swansway Chester. And the last five or eight minutes of play, they've completely deserved it. Brilliant pass from Dawson out wide. Marn kept it alive, and Akin Tunney just passed it into the bottom corner. It took an age to go in, but who cares, it did. Ashmore beaten. Chester 1, Ebsfleet 1. Up against Graham Shearer and continues his run into the area, but Marn will ignore him. It's still Marn onto his left foot, dinks it in towards the back post. It's 
over Magri. James will get there. Still James. Dawson with a bit of space and cries of shoot from the crowd. Oh, and it's onto the roof of the net. Brilliant dipping strike from Lucas Dawson, looking for his fourth of the season. Liam Davis as, as, acting as a ball boy on the far side there. And they get Chester up and running as the fourth official's board comes up for four minutes. Bell with a run in behind here. Magri ushers his defenders where he wants them. Dawson asking for it on the floor, but Bell keeps running. Oh, and right across the face of goal. Man, the match tonight. Oh, Bell, great strike there. Scored two belters in pre-season, one against Port Vale and one against Walsall. And that would have matched either of them if that flew in. Bell. Dispossessed and Ebsleet come away with it. But that'll be the end of the game. The final score is Chester 1, Ebsfleet United 1. There's an absolute belter of a goal by Jack Powell with his weak foot to give Ebsfleet the lead about 57 minutes in. And then James Akintunde pops up with nine minutes to go. He gets his second goal of the season. The final score here, Chester 1, Ebsfleet United 1.